We love zombie movies for that feeling of fear and survival, that human instinct that drives us to stay alive. But in recent years, a new subgenre of zombie movies has emerged in which they introduce the element of comedy. In this video, we are going to review four funny moments from zombie movies. Don't forget to comment on which one was your favorite. In the cult classic film, Zombie Camp, at the one hour and four minute mark, prepare yourself for one of the most bizarre and side-splitting scenes in the history of zombie cinema. Our fearless protagonist finds themselves in a precarious situation, teetering on the edge of a perilous fall to the floor below, swarming with more zombies hungry for a taste of the living. Picture this. Our hero, quick-witted and desperate, resorts to an unconventional and, quite frankly, hilarious solution. In a stroke of genius, or sheer madness, the protagonist takes an unorthodox approach to self-preservation. What follows is a moment of absolute absurdity as our brave survivor ingeniously utilizes a zombie's anatomy to secure their safety. Watch in disbelief as the protagonist literally hooks onto a zombie's, well, you read that right, their ahem private parts. In a bid to avoid a potentially fatal descent, the scene unfolds with a perfect blend of horror and comedy, leaving viewers torn between gasps and fits of laughter. But the hilarity doesn't stop there. As our hero dangles in midair, desperately clinging to the most unconventional lifeline, something extraordinary happens. The zombie, seemingly aware of its intimate predicament, reacts in a way that the traditional mindless, undead stereotype. Its face contorts in what can only be described as a semblance of pain, as if it's genuinely feeling the unexpected discomfort caused by our protagonist's improvised grappling hook. This unexpected twist not only elevates the absurdity to new heights, but also showcases the filmmaker's genius in merging horror and humor. In the uproarious world of Shaun of the Dead, our hero Shaun, played by the incomparable Simon Pegg, finds himself in a zombified predicament at the 26-minute mark. Bleary-eyed and groggy after a night of little to no sleep, Shaun embarks on what he believes to be a routine morning, completely oblivious to the undead chaos unfolding around him. As he stumbles into a convenience store, the camera captures Shaun's oblivious demeanor as he goes about his shopping. Unbeknownst to him, the store is littered with telltale signs of a zombie apocalypse, bloodstains, wandering zombies, and an eerie silence that should set off alarm bells. The brilliance of this scene lies in the sharp contrast between Sean's mundane activities and the impending doom surrounding him. With a nonchalant swagger, Sean grabs a drink from the refrigerated section, seemingly unfazed by the undead presence. The humor peaks when he proceeds to the checkout counter, where, much to the audience's delight, he remains blissfully ignorant of the zombie cashier and the blood-stained surroundings. In a comedic twist of financial woes, Sean, unaware of the imminent danger, realizes he doesn't have enough money to pay for his purchase. The deadpan comedy reaches new heights as Sean, with his trademark wit, engages in a conversation with a zombie cashier, informing it that he's short by a mere 15 cents. The absurdity of the situation adds a layer of hilarity to the scene. As if that's not enough, Sean encounters a zombie who, much like a budget-conscious shopper, insists he has no money to spare. The juxtaposition of financial discussions with the undead takes the comedic genius of Sean of the Dead to a whole new level, making this 26-minute mark a standout moment in the film's arsenal of laughs. In the opening scene of Zombie Camp, starting at minute one and lasting until minute six, we find ourselves amid a hilariously unexpected spectacle. Our setting, a seemingly ordinary laboratory, brought to life by the unconventional antics of a tough-looking cleaner who's about to turn the mundane into a zombie comedy extravaganza. As the clock ticks away, the cleaner enthusiastically scrubs the floor to the infectious rhythm of the cambion, dancing and singing with an unexpected flair. The comedic atmosphere takes an even more absurd turn when the cleaner stumbles into the laboratory, while the oblivious doctor exits the scene, leaving behind a soundproof window where he had previously been the subject of the cleaner's playful mockery. Here's where things get downright comical. The cleaner, with an air of misplaced confidence, starts meddling with the experiments, unknowingly disrupting something crucial that's keeping a person alive. In a hilarious attempt to reanimate the lifeless figure, our cleaner inadvertently turns the poor soul into a fully-fledged groaning zombie. Cue the chaos. A side-splitting showdown ensues as the newly minted zombie and the cleaner engage in an epic, albeit comical, battle for survival. Meanwhile, the doctor, still unaware of the undead drama unfolding behind the soundproof glass, faces his own struggle to retrieve a snack from the vending machine, only to find himself embarrassingly stuck with his arm inside. The tension rises, both in the fight between the cleaner and the zombie and the doctor's battle with the vending machine, reaching a crescendo as the cleaner, inevitably and hilariously, succumbs to zombification. With a hearty appetite for chaos, the cleaner now zombie seizes the opportunity to devour the oblivious doctor, putting a grotesquely funny end to this unforgettable zombie camp saga. In the chilling depths of the horror film Dead Snow, at the 55-minute mark, viewers are treated to a jaw-dropping and darkly comedic twist. Following a fierce confrontation with a group of zombies, the scene takes a gruesome turn when the guts of one unfortunate undead soldier are unexpectedly laid bare. Our survivor, seemingly victorious, gazes in disbelief at the exposed entrails. As the tension reaches its peak, an unconventional and macabre form of survival unfolds. The survivor is left dangling over the precipice, desperately clinging to life by a literal thread, his own intestine. Meanwhile, the tenacious, 
Nazi zombie, not to be outdone, grips onto the survivor, creating a surreal and horrifying tableau of suspended animation. In a gruesome crescendo, the Nazi zombie sinks its teeth into the dangling survivor, creating an unforgettable image that melds horror with a dark sense of humor. The camera lingers on the zombified face, the grotesque intestinal connection, and the survivor's desperate plight, highlighting the surreal and morbidly amusing nature of this unforgettable scene.